Woo. Hey guys, my name is Gus, and I'm excited to be a part of Family Worship with you guys this week. I am packing, and I'm getting ready. Why am I getting ready, and what am I getting ready for? Well, our church has been in the book of 1 Peter. Have you read 1 Peter? Because you should read 1 Peter. Our whole church has been in this book, and Peter tells the church that this home, the, the place you are here on earth, is not your forever home. Do not get comfortable, because God is preparing your forever home for you. And if God's preparing it for me, I thought I should be prepared too. So I got uh, a whole suitcase full of clothes, and I'm ready to go, okay? So imagine if you were going somewhere, if someone was telling you you're moving to a greater home, what is the first thing that you would grab to take with you? Tell your parents, the one thing that is most important to you that you cannot do without, I need you to tell them right now. The one thing you grab, the first thing you would grab. Okay, did you tell them? Okay, let me tell you what I grabbed, how I'm getting ready, right? God's getting this thing ready for me. I want to get ready too. And so I don't know how long it's going to take. So I packed some snacks. Okay, I've got my suitcase full of clothes, a little bit boring, but this is the most important bag, okay? Let me share with you some of the things that I would pack. First and foremost, you need a snack, and there's no greater snack than the spicy sweet chili Doritos. So good. You need to check it out. One of my favorites, okay? And then you need to wash it down with something sweet, right? Some, some Oreos, maybe a tall glass of milk. Milk doesn't stay well in the backpack for very long. Just FYI, okay? And then you never know where you're gonna stop, and you need the spice things up a little bit with some Texas Pete. So I got Texas Pete riding on my left side of my bag. And then on the other side, you gotta wash everything down with a, a good pan of Mountain Dew. Hashtag not a sponsor, okay? So you would pack some of the most important things for you to get ready. And I realized when I was going around the house that I have a little bit too much stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm getting ready the same way Peter said to get ready. So I want you to go ahead and grab your Bible. So let's, let's, let's find out what Peter says. How am I supposed to get ready? This is not my forever home and, and God is preparing a place for us and, and we need to get ready for, for whatever is next. How do we get ready now, okay? Um, Peter's gonna show us that and we're gonna be in 1 Peter chapter four. We're gonna be in verses eight and nine. This is our family memory verse for the book of 1 Peter. This is the family memory verse. So I challenge you to memorize it, right? Verse eight, that is for you preschoolers, okay? I, I, I know that you guys can memorize that, but if you're in elementary school, I challenge you to memorize the whole thing. I know you can do it. 1 Peter chapter four, verses eight and nine, you can do it. Go ahead and grab your Bibles. I'm gonna go grab mine, and let's take a look at what Peter says of how we should be getting ready. Let's take a look at what Peter says on how we should be getting ready. Verse eight, above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. Wait a minute, I've been getting ready wrong this whole time. It's not about what I pack. The, the way I prepare for this forever home with God is by loving one another. Peter says, above all, what is most important is that you love one another. What kind of love is this? Sally Lloyd-Jones likes to say it this way. This is a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. That is the love that Jesus showed us when he died on the cross for our sins and adopted us into his family. And it's with that love that we can love others. That's the love that we show to others. In fact, this reminds me of a verse that Jesus uh, says in John chapter 13 about loving one another. He's talking to his disciples. I'm going to read it for us. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. 
By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, my followers, if you love one another. Jesus commands his followers, the, the way that people know that you are following me is by the way that you show love to those around you. That is the most important thing that we can be doing in preparing. Remember, this is not our home. But our home is eventually to be with Jesus, and that is a forever home. And the way we prepare is by loving one another. And listen, this is really, really hard. How do I know this is really hard? Let's look at verse 9. What happens? What does Peter say? Show hospitality, in other words, care and love for one another without grumbling or complaining, right? The reason why he adds the without grumbling or complaining is because people were grumbling and complaining about serving and loving one another. It's really hard. And you know this, you've been stuck inside the same house for a really long time with the same people and they just get on your nerves. Am I right? It's really, really hard to show them love and care all the time. Can I get an amen? Right? That's really hard. The only way that we can love those around us, even if they get on our nerves, and it's really, really hard, the only way we can do that is knowing the love that Jesus has shown us, that never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. That's the only way we can show that love with other people is to know that love ourselves. And here, just a second, you guys are going to talk with your parents right around you about ways that you can be getting ready, ways that you can show God's love to those people around you. And then we're going to close in some time praying how we can grow in that love and how we can love those around us. And then we'll see you back here in just a moment.
Thank you guys for letting me read, pray, and sing with your family. Don't forget to memorize your family memory verse, 1 Peter 4, 8, and 9. I know you can do it. And remember, wherever you are, you are sent.